Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I will talk about the first layer in the K1 Max. I've been seeing people all around the internet saying that their K1 Max cannot really print the first layer. It keeps lifting from the bed and it doesn't have the proper height for the first layer to lay on the build plate. So I will show you a couple tips that I use to get my K1 Max to print a better first layer. It's very simple. Let's scratch to this problem. Let me get to the first layer of my experience first, then I will show you what I do on my K1 Max to get it to print the first layer more consistent. So usually when you get a new 3D printer, if it has all the calibrations, input shaping, all the bed leveling, stuff like that, if it has those, that is the first thing that you do, which many people are doing that the first time that they get a 3D printer, if the 3D printer has that. So you run your bed calibrations, you run your auto input shaping for better printing results, and for the K1 Max, after it's done doing the auto bed leveling you can see the bed mesh on orca slicer or on a browser by putting the ip address from your k1 max into the browser same thing goes for orca slicer but if you are using creative print it doesn't have the bed mesh i made videos showing how you can see a bed mesh on your k1 max so i'll leave link down below if you don't know how to see your bed mesh okay after people are done doing their bed mesh it looks great. Let's say their bed mesh is about 0.4 differences. That is pretty good. And after people are done doing their bed mesh and get about 0.4 for their bed mesh, they go and print something and that prints really well. And then they start another print, it prints really well. But then like a couple of print later, they go and print it again. It doesn't stick on the bed anymore. Or the filling keeps coming off or the nozzle is a lot higher on the bed than when you first start printing. Why is that happening? Is it because the 3D printer is bad? Is it the motor? Is it the bed? Well, not quite. It could be, but based on my experience, it's a different problem than that. Well, after that, people are getting more comfortable with their 3D printers or the KO Max, and they start doing research on how to get a better bed mesh or bed leveling. People start taking their 3D printers apart, doing the belt tensioning, doing the least screw tricks, skipping the teeth on the motors and stuff like that, and they get a really good bed mesh, like about 0.1 millimeters differences. Then they start printing, it works really nicely. Second print nice, a couple of prints later, it start having the same problem where it just keep coming off from the build plate, it doesn't stick well in areas and stuff like that. Then people start rambling about their 3D printer sucks, it cannot print first layer, I keep getting failed prints, well on my 3D printers, in my experience, I got all of those things that I have said, and I believe many people out there are having similar problems and similar situation as me, but I did find one thing on the K1 Max that kind of ruins your first layer. So what do people do when the first layer is a little bit high? They might go into Orca Slicer or the 3D printer itself and adjust the Z offsets by pushing the beds upward so that it's closer to the nozzle. And maybe the next print it goes back to normal, your Z offset setting is saved and the nozzle scratches the bed which is the worst feeling of all. So with all that said, I'm going to show you what I found on the K1 Max that actually kind of ruins your first print most of the time. Let me show you now. Okay, so here's the kill max where I got this purge line from camp. This one thing on the build plate of the kill max is pretty much ruining your first layer is this purge line or this nozzle wipe over here. Before Creality designed their K1C, they designed their K1 and their K1 Max, and I don't know why they did not think this through. They decided to make the nozzle wipe on the bed itself at the very back here. Why is this a problem? As you can see here, there's lots and lots of filament stuck right there. So when you start print, it comes here, it probes, it goes here, it probes, and then it does the wipe thing. How is that a problem? Well, sometimes if there's many filament here, it's gonna probe on top of the filament. And then that's about what? A point four on top of your bed mesh 0.4 millimeters height and that's like a 0.8 millimeters differences from the bed to the nozzle sensor. I'm not quite sure if people don't do this or what but for me sometimes I forget to clean this part and it ruins my print a lot. And then so I look at this and it's like ah oh, there's so much film here I'm just gonna clean this and after I clean that it start printing great again. So that's why I'm saying that this is the major problem for the K1 Max on the K1C, it has a nozzle wiper back here, so, so it's a lot better than the K1 Max design. Uh, purging and wiping on the build plate itself is really bad. So just clean this spot frequently, and hopefully you will have a better first layer on your K1 Max. Oh, and don't forget to clean your nozzle, because that ruins first print a lot. So as you saw there, the nozzle wipe at the back of the K1 Max 
it's really not it's really not the best design out there because after a couple of prints it keeps doing that and Vitman keeps building up and so when it does the probing stuff it offsets from that point too it offsets from that point from your bed mesh so so you just get worse first layer print well at least in my experience thank you so much for watching and if you haven't yet grab yourself some merch i'll leave a link down below let me know in the comments down below do you clean that spot often and if you haven't yet want to clean it does it work better on your first layer let me know in the comments down below and with that said thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing